All right, so welcome to episode four, part one. This is gonna be installing an add-on from Gmod Store. The next is next episode is installing a workshop add-on. This add-on specifically does need a workshop add-on to work. So if you are installing the whitelist, make sure you also watch part two of installing add-ons so that you get the Gmod Admin Suite base add-on. So most Gmod Store add-ons are pretty much the same. You'll just come to the page, click this download button, and then it will download a zip and assuming the zip file is under 200 megabytes with dyno panel you can just drag and drop it into your add-ons folder um ignore that i have i was deleting something before a second ago so you can just drag and drop it into your add-ons folder um which you just get to obviously with the file management gary's mod add-ons um, and then normally you can just decompress it straight in your add-ons folder now this is going to create a little bit of junk um, due to how Billy packages his add-ons, but it's not too bit too much of a big deal. You can just delete all these like gas private license installation license and updating things. None of that's really needed, so we'll just delete all that, and um, we're left with two folders: Xeon DRM and Gmod Admin Suite Job Whitelist. So the Xeon DRM we need to leave. This is an add-on which he uses to, um, you know, data right management. I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with that. And then the actual Gmod Admin Suite add-on we've got right here. Now, how you can generally check if an add-on is installed correctly is if you go into the add-on folder and then you see a, fo a folder called Lua or folders like models, um, materials, and things like that. Um, and then if you go in this Lua fo folder, normally you'll see um, like VGUI. Um, often you'll see the auto run folder. And especially if you see the auto run folder, like I know is in the Xeon DRM, for example, if we go into Xeon DRM, Lua, we can see an auto run file. So we know that this is this is how Gary's mod want, wants the add-on to be structured. Um, you can also see, for example, in Dark RP modification add-on, you have this Lua file. Um, and that's kind of how Gary's mod wants you to structure your add-ons. So generally, if you open the add-on and it has that Lua file, you can assume that, that it's installed correctly. Um, so Billy's add-on specifically here um, needs a add-on from the workshop to also work. So if you're installing B Whitelist specifically or any of his other add-ons, watch the next um, part of this episode, which is installing workshop add-ons, uh, and that will be um, cleared up there. And then if you are um, in, you know, running a Star Wars RP server, you can jump back over to the um, Star Wars RP video. Um, the third part of this um, episode is installing a workshop collection, which will be a whole collection of add-ons that your server downloads every time it boots up. Um, and this is quite useful for add-ons that you want to always keep updated. But keep in mind there are risks with using a workshop collection, but that will be explained more in the next episode. So cheers for watching, have a nice day, and keep on using Cryden, lol.